Francisco, how are you? Hello, hello, buenas noches. Hello, hello. How is everything? Everything's fine, thanks. Great, great. Okay. You ready to begin? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Tell me, Francisco, a little bit about, about yourself. I don't I don't remember. I don't I didn't have you in the last course. No, this is my first level. Mm hmm And you you started a, um today. Today's the first time you work on the platform. Yes, today is my first day. Okay. Okay. Well, welcome to the group. It's great to have you here. Uh, I'll explain. I'll explain a little bit how the platform works and how everything works. Um, it's probably not too many new people, um, but you know everybody is new for you, Francisco. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And why did you decide to begin studying English now, Francisco? Uh, I want to improve my English. I started like ten years ago, and I need to practice again and and. Uh, perfection in my my listening mm -hmm. and my speaking okay okay and tell me and but is uh, is it because you you need it for your job is uh you are planning to travel what's what's going on uh not for my job not not so much uh, to travel and for my personal capacitation okay okay Perfect. Well, let me explain a little bit. I think we have uh, a few people here that are ready. Um, let's see. Let's take a look. Okay. And I think, well, there was another person that was new. That was Ligia. I saw Ligia. Elizabeth, I am so surprised to see you. Why surprised? Uh, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure with all of the documentation and everything, if everything was in time uh, and everything. Yeah, but here I am. Exactly, and now no more stress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, finally. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, so what are we looking at? Well, um, we have a, a, a new classmate. His name is Francisco, and I'm almost positive we had another new classmate. Her name was Ligia, but she I saw her name and then she disappeared, so I don't know if she was in the wrong group. But um, this is mainly for, for Francisco. Francisco, your grades are based on the platform, okay? So all of the grades, if you receive your diploma, if you pass to the next module, if you continue, are based on the activities or the work that you do in the platform, not in the class. So okay. if, even if we work in the activities from the platform in class, you need to do it in your platform you need to make sure you are registered and you complete the exercises in there okay 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 yeah the minimum grade is 80 you need to have an 80 in the activities in order to be able to pass at the end but the platform allows you to repeat activities that you have a low grade on so if you get a 70 or 60 in an exercise you are allowed to continue going until you get a higher grade okay the same okay you want to make sure that all of the grades and average are minimum of 80. Okay, okay. Okay, now if, if you have any problems with the platform, which usually we do, you can ask the other classmates, usually there's one or two, you know, little mistakes or something like that that happens. <laughs> it's, it's, it's usually has to do with the, the period at the end of the sentence and usually the apostrophe for contractions. So, okay. Before you get frustrated, make sure, because many times we use in our computer, it registers like a tilde, but it doesn't accept it in the platform. It has to be the correct one, which is the contraction. Okay. Okay. Um, do you have any questions at this moment, Francisco? No, right now, no. Okay, all right, perfect. Lisa, do you have any questions at this moment? We didn't hear you, Ligia. It was like flash, I think. Uh, 
Okay, maybe Lee is having some technical problems. Did anybody hear her? Nope. No. No. Nope. Okay. Okay. She's mute. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even I, I saw her take off the mute, but no sound came out. So, Lee, you might want to check it. Uh -huh. Yes, I, we <laughs> figure you figure you have some problems with the audio. So just to just so you can take a look and, and check it. But if not, don't worry. We'll we'll <laughs> figure it out. Okay. Um. So, <laughs> no problem. So. Overall, what, what is the main idea is work in the platform, complete the exercises there, make sure you get 80 or more. If not, repeat the exercise until you get 80. If there is a problem or something that you can't get past or you can't do, ask in the group. In the group is, we have a WhatsApp group. So uh, if you are not included in the WhatsApp group, in the email for this class is also the link for the WhatsApp and then you just join it, okay? You click on it and then you can join it and then it's easier to get your questions answers. Sometimes I will answer them, sometimes the classmates because all of us go at, you know, some of them have the same problem or have already solved it or different things. So whoever can answer your question or whoever can help, that's who's going to help. Okay. All right, I think that's about it about it um there's not too much in the in complications in the platform it's just getting an 80 make sure you do the exercises um make sure you do all of the exercises if not at the end you have difficulty because the platform doesn't allow you to get your diploma so it's not like you don't have the option to skip you can skip in order but you don't have that uh, that it's up to you if you want to do or not want to do you have to do all of them Okay, and oh, and one more thing, very important is, if you want to advance faster, you can advance faster in the platform. So that means if we're gonna be looking at unit 1.1, uh, 1 .1, uh, 1 1.2, for example, things like this today, but if you say, hey, I'm gonna, I have some time, uh, I can't go to sleep tonight, let me see what I can do, and you want to advance for the next level, you can go ahead and advance in the next level. I see we have another new person as well. We also have Esmeralda. Esmeralda, can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Hello. Hello, Esmeralda. All right. So we got quite a few people. Um, okay. All right. We're going to get started. What we're going to do is we're just going to have a little bit of a warm up. We're going to create a, a few small groups. Oh, I almost forgot to mention that. So uh, we, this is the big group for those that are new. Um, and then we also create little small groups. In order to go to the small groups, I send an invitation. All you have to do is hit accept. When you hit accept, you can go to the small groups. And then there is the idea for more practice, for oral practice. That's you speaking and listening to your partners. Before we begin that, um, I know Ligia had a little bit of problems with her audio. Um, is anybody else having problems? That way I'll make the, even if, Lija, even if you can't participate, at least you can listen to the other members. Mm -hmm. Rocio, can, is everything okay? Yes, teacher, thank okay. you. Okay, so Rocio can do it, no problem. Veronica, how's your mic? Everything's working? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Everything. Okay, everything is great. Elizabeth, I know you already said yes. Everything is good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Jose, how are you? Everything okay? Yes, John, everything okay. Okay, good. We're making sure that all the sounds are working. All right. Romulo? Hi, can you hear me now? Hey, Ligia. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Okay, thanks. Welcome. Oh. Welcome. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, Omi, everything okay? Romulo, everything okay? With, with... Yes, teacher, I'm okay. Okay. I'm okay, thank you. Perfect, perfect. All right then. We got all, we got Esmeralda working, we got Francisco working, Patricia. I, I see Patricia is coming up with like a little symbol, like connecting with audio. You okay, Patricia? Okay, so I think Patricia is the only one having a little bit of technical issues, okay? But that's okay. That solves it that out of everybody, only one person, no problem. 
So we'll make a few groups. Um, what we're going to do is just take a moment. You get to hear me, teacher? Hey, there we go, Patricia. Yeah, hi. you've... Hi. hi. All right, good evening. There we go. All right, let's make our groups. Then. Yes, I, I have a problem with my connection. I, I don't hear. My connection is... Tape. Okay. Well, don't use to help. Remember, don't use the video because the video makes the connection uh, slower. So only use the audio and not the video because if you use the if you have unstable connection and you use the video, it's going to be really hard for you. So only use the audio for. Yes, mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So we're going to make our groups and in the groups, the objective is right now just talking about your weekend. What happened over the weekend? What did you do? Where did you go? Remember, there are two important forms when we talk or we ask about our weekends or we talk about the past. One is the question with did. Always we use did and the verb in present. For example, I say, Vero, what did you do? Elizabeth, where did you go? Jose, who did you go with? Ligia, where did you whatever you want, okay? The other is when I make a statement or I want to ask my partner if they have done my the action that I have, okay? So I say, oh, I went surfing on Sunday. And then I can ask Romulo, oh, have you gone surfing? I do not ask Romulo, did you go surfing? Did is a specific time frame. Did is for a specific time, like in this case, the weekend. But have is not a specific time. Have is simply if he has practiced this activity or done this action. So remember, there are two forms. If you ask about the weekend, it's going to be with did. If you ask about an action in general, that's going to be with have and the past participle. Okay. Let's make our groups and all you have to do is hit accept and then you will be taken to a small group where we can talk and ask questions and get to know each other a little bit better. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the same, you know, a lot of work and uh, it's coming a lot of work too. <laughs> so. Yes. Uh -huh. I think that these days is going too far. Yes, especially uh, in, yeah, the the next week in, my, in my area. Yeah. In the next week, we will be on December. Yep. Incredible, yeah. incredible, no, right? <laughs> Last month, yeah, and the in the in the year, it's gone. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. Thanks God, because you know, because the the pandemic and all that, I, we is it hasn't been a good year. Yeah, we are uh, feeling really good with these news about the yeah. pandemic. Yeah. Sentence, we use right. You right. will have vacations. Uh, yeah, I usually have vacation. Um, there is um, in three in in three periods. In in April in Semana Santa. Yeah. In, in August and then in um, December. Yeah. It's really great. It's really great. Yeah. You have a good time with your family. Yeah, well, that's the idea, you know. <laughs> that's the idea. <laughs> Especially Maybe, now right? that you can that, that that you can go out anymore. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's but, a, a break. <laughs> yeah, it's a break. And I was thinking about trying to find another work. But for the moment, I was like, I wanted to, to take a break, as you said. And I'm just 
trying to sell things uh, at home, like uh, speakers, something like that. <laughs> That's my business now. <laughs> <laughs> Good. And I work in Tigo, but for the pandemia, I I work in my from my house. Oh, cool. Yes. Actually, my my cousin is working on Tigo now that I remember. But he really? have to go. I yes. think so. Oh, yeah. Um. <laughs> Lisa, what I, you, sorry. Go ahead. Hello. Hello. No. Hello. I was. Hello. Only, I only was gonna ask Lisa in what department she works. I work in IT department, in the operations, <laughs> IT operations. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so, are you a system engineer, Lisa, or a network? Engineer? Yes, I'm an uh, engineer. Yes, in, com I, in computer systems? or in, yes, in, yes, in computer systems. Yes. Okay. okay. That's great to hear. Yes, <laughs> but sometimes it's complicated. <laughs> I but, imagine. <laughs> how long have you worked there, Lija? In Tigo, uh, one year and a half. Okay. Yes. Yes, but so fast. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And yes. Well, once you, I think once you uh, finish or once you feel comfortable with English, have you you have you ever thought about uh, moving to another country? Yes, but <laughs> for my family, I don't know. <laughs> it's complicated. That that means no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for my my mom, my dad, my sisters, and my nieces, <laughs> mm -hmm. nephews. Sorry. Huh? Okay. Both. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No problem. Don't worry. I didn't say anything. <laughs> only, only visit. <laughs> yeah. Another country. There you go. Okay. I'll let you continue. Don't Teacher, worry. I have to do. I have to do something. So I will leave the meeting and I will back later. Okay, Rocio. No problem. Okay. Okay. What? What's that? What's nice to talk with you, Veronica? Thank you. Bye. So see you later. Was very nice. Thank, Thank you, you Rocio. <laughs> okay, Vero, I send you to another group. Okay. Okay. You guys okay? Patricia having a problem with your net, your connection on the net, and, and she go out and get in, and sometimes. Okay, okay. Let me give you a new partner then. Let me give you a new partner. Maybe that'll make it easier. No, no problem. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hello, Betty. Berito. How Hello. Are you? Something new. <laughs> <laughs> but I I was watching the the exercise and and I think it's it's long than the old one. Is is what is what you say? It's it's longer. It's longer. Longer than the last last one. Yeah. Well, but I, I, I think that's mm -hmm. with the time this this uh, language will turn in easy to 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 speak. Yeah. Well, that's the idea, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That. Uh, If you're going to the next level, so it is supposed to be more difficult, right? Yeah, the next level will be a kind of difficult. Yeah. Mm. 
All right, guys. Great. It's a great idea for us to get a little bit of fluency and start talking and get to know some of the new partners that we have and get to know each other. So the, that was just the main idea for that activity is just getting to know each other a little bit more and seeing what we do and what we don't do, things like that. Now, today we're going to be taking a look at just talking about complaints or things that happen. Okay. So many times we, there are things that um, are broken or when we complain about something, it's not functioning correctly or something like this. That's the idea for today. So we're going to be looking at, you know, what happens, how to describe a problem. Okay. Um, first of all, you know, I want you to tell me what kind of problems could, do you normally face? What are some of the problems that you normally have around your house? For example, teacher, with my car, if my car got, uh, I don't know, how do you say, broken? Yes, it breaks down. Mm -hmm. It breaks down, okay. Okay. Yeah, this is a, a big problem, right? Always with the car or sometimes it's one thing or the tire or battery or many different things, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if we have some problems with the car, any other types of problems? The internet. My connection. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Your tell, connection. Tell me, tell, tell me about it. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, it's normally, you know, it, normally internet connection is, is, is one of the biggest problems that is, is a modern problem because we didn't have this problem eight years ago, 10 years ago. You know, it, it wasn't even five years ago. It wasn't such a big problem. But today is... <sighs> You, f you have faster internet, but you feel slower than before. Mm -hmm. okay. my, my really problem in my house is to get up very early every day. <laughs> to, to get up early? Yeah. <laughs> oh, why is for, uh, you guys don't like it, you go to bed late or, or what? I think that uh, finish this class. <laughs> no, 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 it's not that reason. It's because, <laughs> because uh, uh, sometimes uh, I watch videos on YouTube um, very, very late. <laughs> okay. uh, and, and sometimes I get up very early. No, every day I uh, get, get up early. It's my problem now. <laughs> Waking up early, huh? Yeah, t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Now, let's take a look very good, like Omi says, and like Elizabeth, we always have a little bit of issues with different things. Sometimes they're like, you know, uh, things that are out of our control such as the car or other maintenance. Um, sometimes it's just, uh, you know, our lifestyle, things are difficult, difficult. So here we're looking at what's wrong with it and how to describe different situations. We're going to watch the video, learn some vocabulary, and then if it's not clear at the end, I'm going to explain a little bit about uh, and give some more examples of what they're talking about. Okay. Describe problems. We will do it in two ways using past participles and using nouns. Stay and learn how. Describing problems one. With past participles as adjectives. The jacket lining is torn. The tabletop is damaged. That vase is chipped. My pants are stained. Her sunglasses are a little scratched. Their new aquarium is leaking. With nouns. It has a tear in it. There's a hole in it. There is some damage on the top. There is a chip in it. They have a stain on them. There are a few scratches on them. 
It has a leak in it. As we said in our intro video, we will show you two ways to describe problems. The two sets of sentences you're about to see have more or less the same meaning. We may say, something is torn or has a tear in it. As you noticed in our first sentence, we use past participle, this time again acting as adjectives. This is the structure we will use, subject plus be plus past participle as adjective. My dress is torn. The other way to describe a problem is to use nouns. In this case, we must use subject plus have plus noun, or there is, there are plus noun. In a real sentence, this is how it would look like. My dress has a stain on it, or there is a stain on it. Now you practice. Follow my example. My glasses are broken. Now you try. Look at these following images and choose the past participle of these verbs. Type your examples on our discussion box. Okay. So the most important is from this part. In this we can see that we have past participles, which are verbs, Okay, and then we have, we're using the same verbs or, uh, or sorry, we're using nouns. So there are two different ways to describe a problem. You can describe by the action, right? Is torn, is damaged, is chipped, okay? Or we just use a noun. And when we use a noun, we normally have to use the word has or there is. If it's plural, there are, okay? So we don't normally, we don't put uh, the object. So, for example, if you put down the vase or the the laptop, for example, okay, the laptop, you're going to use an action. The laptop is damaged, okay. But if you if you use there is, there are, okay, then you can use there is some damage on the laptop, okay. That's what we're looking at. Just how to describe it in two different forms. We can use it as past participles to describe it, okay. In which case we use the thing first, we talk about what we're describing and then what happened to it, or we can talk about a noun, okay? And when we talk about using those as nouns, we don't say the name of the object. We say um, there is, there are, it has, okay? We can use this here, okay? This is where it's very common, okay? So if we use there is or there are, okay? We're gonna talk the noun, there is a stain, okay? If we use have or has, also we use a noun, okay? So if we don't use one of those, then we just talk about directly with the action. Now, yes? Did, yes, it, yes, Elizabeth, yes. did you have a question or no? Um, yeah, but uh, please continue. <laughs> No, no, go ahead, Elizabeth. What, what, what is the, what's the question? The exception. I mean, why uh, they put that as exception? It's uh, because to um, aware, aware us that there, there are some exceptions? Um, not very many. It's just with the action of the idea for leaking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So is, for example, there their new aquarium is leaking. Um, we don't use the, there is no, a, um, there is no past participle in this case to use it. We don't say the new aquarium is leaked or has leaked, for example. We, because there, we don't use the past participle because the idea of, of leak is a, an action that happens continuously. Right, mm -hmm. Be because the idea is that there's water coming out. So if there's water coming out of it, it has to be a continuous action. If there is no water coming out of it, then it's not leaking anymore. That's why that one is the exception for an action like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does, does that make sense, Elizabeth? Yes, yes. Okay. okay. Yes. Yeah. Do you have another ex ex exception? 
Example? Um, let me think another action. Um, not, I can't think of one right, right off the top of my head <laughs> okay. because, uh -huh, because it's not common to have an action that is, that is only possible with ING. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Um, the, the other option would be maybe for the, the idea is um, start, like the new car. So you can say the new car is not starting because that it has to go to that, that it, or uh, you know, when you turn on your car, it makes that little sound when it doesn't want to work. Mm -hmm. That's, that would be the other exception. Maybe that one, because that's a, that's a continuous action. It's not starting or it's not working? Correct, exactly, mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the meaning of chipped in this case? Ah, chipped is like there's a little piece missing. So if you have something that is missing, this is chipped. Mm -hmm. It's, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So maybe like in your tooth or an action, um, there is a problem, this is chipped. Mm -hmm. okay. So if, if it's missing a little piece, that's the idea. Okay. Okay. Anybody else, any other questions? Okay. Perfect, then we're gonna make our groups and we're gonna try to get started with the idea of describing problems or issues that you have. So maybe it's a computer, maybe it's the phone, maybe it's internet, okay? Whatever it is, we're just, the all, all we're doing is describing problems that you are facing or you have faced, okay? Okay. All right, let's do it. Patricia, you okay? Don't worry. Mm -hmm. And there is a ship in it, and they have a thing of them. And the last two examples are, there are a few expressions on, on them, and it has a lip in X. Just yeah, for example. But, the, but at the end of the video, uh, she gives uh, three things. No. That we can work. Adjectives. Let me see. I, I don't remember. Is torn. I think it's amok. A city. Oh, amok. Amok. Yeah, amok. A city and a pants. A pair of jeans. A pair of jeans. A pair of jeans. Pair of jeans. Okay. <laughs> For example, um, my city is a scratcher. Okay. In a using the past participle and there are a few scratches on my CD using nouns. Is that correct, Ich? Say it one more time, Elizabeth. My CD is scratched. Yes, that would be fine. My CD is scratched. Yes, only the pronunciation is no ed is with T. My CD is scratched. Scratched. Yes. My CD is scratched. Correct. 
okay? And um, you see nouns, there are a few scratches on my CD. Correct. An example, there is a broken mug on the table. Okay. It's, that's, it's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. There is, he said? There okay. is a broken mug at, on the table. Can you use there is uh, in using past participle, uh, teacher? There is a broken. Mm -hmm. So there, there is, is he, because there, he's talking about the not is used as an adjective. Mm -hmm. Exactly. As an adjective. Mm -hmm. There are a few scratches on the my city. And there is a, a, an example. My city mm -hmm. is scratches. There are a few scratches on my CD. I wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> That was my example. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> okay, and I think that the the confusion for for you, Elizabeth, was because he mm -hmm. used he used broken, which is a past participle, right? Um, exactly. Yes, I I got it. I I I, I heard, be, but then he continued with the noun. So the the broken is is an adjective that is extra is not necessary for that sentence so it's just like a an addition so he can say there is a mug on the table or there is a mug or whatever but so when he put the word broken it's just extra it's just extra information okay mm, i'm not agree because you are talking about that in that the the table i mean is that that is um uh, that example is using past participle or with nouns uh, Jose? Well, go ahead Jose. The, the example mm -hmm. i think the, the, we got to use past participle or not exactly Right, because yeah. if you say that past participle is reverse, is the mug is broken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the mug mm -hmm. is broken, exactly. Okay, mm -hmm. now now uh, do it you are using the with nouns, Jose. Because I when you say there is a broken, I got uh, you know a little confused. Yeah. There is a broken mug on the table, and uh, like uh, the the mug, the mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Broken, and there is on the on the table. There is a one broken mug, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Because the the broken is completely is not part of it, okay. So, so then it's it, it's one of those like a, a, because if you change the verb broken, then you couldn't have the same form. For example, a chip or a, I don't know a crack or something like this. Uh, so, okay, so there's a, yeah, yeah. So it, yeah, it, I understand the 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 mouth for I I confuse with the word chip, but chip for for me. It's not for computers. Usually. You're thinking of it like yes. You're thinking of it for computers. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So in the case of the mug, it would be if you don't use broken. If you use a different verb, there is a chip on the or there's a chip in the mug or there's a chip. Uh, uh, it, it would have to be with something that, that you compared to the mug is chipped. What? No, but but why can he uh, he use the uh, broken? He, <laughs> no, he can. He can use the mug is broken. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he's but using with the example sheep. Uh, there are chips on um, into the mug. I think. Kind of yes. There is there 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 are chips 
on the mug. Mm -hmm. There are chips on the mug. Correct. On the mug. No. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or the mug has chips. The mug has have chips. Has right because yes. It's, it's well, you normally you would say that mug has some chips. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. But he's not using the same the same verb. That's what I'm saying. Right. It has to do with with the word broken because broken is is one or the other is not is not possible like in the descriptions for here that is that it it's not a zero it's not black or white for example chipped or stained or scratched and you're just describing a problem but broken is done with it's finished it's like a a, um, a, a finite action so that's why is uh, there is and then the broken is used as an adjective there is a broken mug. Okay. The example or the example five, if, if there is uh, the word tear and a pair of jeans. Maybe the, the sentence will be uh, because tear is it's it's tear, right? Okay. Maybe there are a lot of, of tears in that pair of jeans. Yeah, there's a lot of tears on that pair of jeans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a kind of weird sentence, <laughs> but I make it work. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, but, but I don't know. No, no. It, 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 okay, use your, your ima imagination. <laughs> no, it makes sense if you think about the style. There are some jeans that in the front have a lot of tears. This is the style. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's the. Oh. That's the fashion. I, I, that's I the fashion think, right now. Mm -hmm. I have one. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I think tear mean tear. No, 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 no. Tears. No, like, no. Uh huh. No, there are a lot of tears. Oh, yeah. Okay. Tear. <laughs> there you go. There you yeah. go. Okay. <laughs> Somebody that can help you or fix it. Okay. Okay. Uh, Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Any questions? Uh, I guess no. <laughs> no. No. In my case, no. for me, no. Okay. Okay, perfect. So we're okay on how to use both forms, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll let you continue. See. Okay. See you. Uh, Send to you uh, I email, yeah, and you uh -huh. can you can enter, but uh, I could I, I couldn't I couldn't find. I already I'm I am already seeing it in the section one in the in the web page the course English Pre Avanzado Modulo Two Section One What's wrong with it? And then it's the it's the intro video to section one. Not the uh, it's not here. <laughs> yeah. Mm, maybe not established. here, but I'm here and at moment. I don't ah. know next time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello again, again and again and again. <laughs> yes, again, again. I very problem teacher. This night. Nice. I see, I see you're having some, some difficulty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. okay. okay, Patricia, tell us about you. <laughs> Patricia? Well, it's gone. She, you lost yeah, this it, again. <laughs> what, what is... <laughs> Hi. Do you hear Hi. me? Patricia. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I I can hear you. Right. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, I, I have a question. Uh, what what a, a choice in because uh, when I say problem and I use um, past participle adjective or noun or whatever. With what, pa Patricia? You past participle with? If, if you have the noun, or, you, or use the noun. Past, you use the noun with the past participle. For example, the car is damaged, the computer is broken, the, the tire is exploded. If you use first the noun, then you just use the past participle. Mm -hmm. Patricia, did you hear? He's gone. Yeah. The problem is the problem is I think she she didn't hear my explanation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back. Okay, the All right, so we're going through the activities of using is and has. Remember the only one, um, at least the one that we're learning today, the one that is uh, irregular is with leak. And leak is not going to be in past participle. It's going to be with ing if you're using is. Um, if you use has, it's not a problem because then it's just a noun, has a leak, for example, okay? So what are we gonna do? Well, with our partners, um, I'll, in case you're on your phone, uh, we, I'll take a picture of the exercises and we're gonna do 1.2 and 1.3 knowledge check. And what are we going to do in those? It's just about practicing, about practicing exactly what we are doing right now of using these different functions. Okay, so let me share my screen with you so we can have one example together. Okay, so here you see the tablecloth isn't very clean. It, and then we have the word stain. Stain is like something, there's maybe, I don't know, um, spaghetti, wine, some, there's a, a pen. This is a stain, it has something on there, okay? So how would we use this? Well, we can use two forms. We can use past participles, or we can use it uh, with has, okay? So, okay, I can go it, okay? It has a stain, and we're gonna check together. I'm gonna put a period because this is always an issue. And so let's try it together to make sure that it's with the period and that's the right one, right? It has a stain, okay? Now, what if I don't want to use that's it? Picture. Yes. Because it, uh, the sentence or the example has already it. So I put, I write has a stain on it. Just, oh. Let me, we're gonna try just to make sure. So here I put in again, it is stained. I, instead of using a noun, I'm using the past participle, okay? It is stained, okay? Again, with the same period. Let's take a look. It says that's fine too. But hey. if you put, let's try the way that you say, Elizabeth, uh, without the it. You said you put has, yeah, the it. has it a has stain. stain. Okay. Has a stain on it. Okay, has a stain. Okay, let's take a look. No, if you don't put if you don't put it, it's not correct. So it wants you to write the complete sentence. Let me try. Let me just add the it without changing. Yes, you need to include even if it's already here. So they want you to copy this part and add this in the correct form. Yeah, I was just following the 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 uh, example of the la of the module one. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. 
And that's why it's always better that we do it together in class because then we can discover and avoid the, any issues that you might have, okay? Mm -hmm. So with your partners, we're gonna try together. We're gonna have um, one through six from Knowledge Check 1.2. And this one is going to be a listening. I don't think we'll have enough time to do the listening, but it's okay because you can do the listening um, a little bit at home tonight. And that way you can feel that you're advancing a little bit in the platform as well on your own, not only in the class. Okay. Okay. All right. So, okay. Right now we're going to go with our partners. Um, 1.2. And, you know, if I'll take a picture in case um, you don't have a computer. But if you do, try to share with your partner. That way it makes it easier as well. The uh, exercise 1.2? Uh, yes, but uh, I have a, a doubt in you. Okay, let's try. Okay. Okay, I, I think the, the second, second could one. We have, could we have another water picture? Another what, Francisco? I was reading the, the second point. Could we have another water picture? This one. Mm, that has is, a leak on it? I think it's leaking, like the, some, the exception the teacher said. This one is leaking, I think. Mm -hmm. It's leaking. Mm, let me try. This one is leaking. Um, no. No? No, no, it's not correct in that way. Uh, what do you say? Mm, the goose has some. Let's try. It has some. Mm. It was right. Wait, it's thinking. <laughs> this okay. thing is thinking. <laughs> Submit. <laughs> nope, it's wrong. It's wrong. And without the sum. Mm. Yes. Hey teacher. Hey Elizabeth. We, we have problem with the number three. Okay, let's try it together. Let's we take a try. Look. We try with the wood. The wood is scratched too. Yeah. And nothing. We try with the, the wood. It has scratches too. Scratches. That doesn't work. The wood has scratches. Maybe scratches is the. <laughs> Let me try. Scratch. 
scratches, scratches too. Who are you trying it on your computer, Elizabeth? Yes, yes. Okay, can you share the screen? Let me see. How, how, um, wait. I don't know how to do this. Wait. Okay, I got. Can you see it? The, it has a scratch. The word has scratches, right? That's what you put scratches? Yes. Okay. Try it like we, we we because we know of what happened in the in the last module eliminate the wood try it only the answer has scratches try only has scratches Change i it. did already has scratches too no 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 two only has scratches oh only has scratch mm. this is one thing that i don't like this platform Has scratching. Yes. Okay. Okay. You uh, only has scratches. You see, it's it it's it's, it's sometimes it's work with uh, with both. Okay. Well, let me go back to the main group and tell everybody. That way, nobody has the same problem. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. All right. Um, great thing that I saw that uh, you are practicing and you're using it. Um, it seems that there's a little bit of a problem. And the problem is that we encountered with um, one group is, I'll share my screen with you. Okay, is this. So it seems that for some of them, for some of the exercises, uh, they don't allow, okay, they don't allow you to have the it or the topic first. So for some of them, it, you just have to put the, the direct answer. The one that we discovered was with number three, right, Elizabeth? I think, that, yeah, the wood, it has to do with the wood. Yes, number three, teacher. Okay, so for in the case that they did in their group is that it didn't accept the wood. It didn't accept the complete sentence. It's only the answer, for example. Um, then we, it was, has a scratch, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that that's the one that we use. So they only put has a scratch. The period. You oh, the period. the period. Thank you very much. And the period. Okay. So has a scratch is the one that's possible. Of course you can change it and I'm, it should allow even the plural form because scratch is usually a plural word. Um, let me check. Yes, I put it plural. Mm -hmm. Oh, period again. Sorry. Always forget. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, in some of them, if it doesn't allow you or it doesn't mark it correctly and you feel that it's correct, try eliminating the subject, only having the answer. So it looks like some of them have the complete sentence and some of them are only the, the answer towards it. So just be careful with those exercises a little bit. Um, don't worry, that's why we are in class and that's why we always review the next day. So if there is an issue or if you do have problems, we talk about it in class and you know, if it's something technical, we let you know and if it's something wrong, we let you discover it. Okie dokie. Okay guys, have a great night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, Thank, you. Teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Bye, bye, -bye. guys. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night.